Hi, this is Asin. Today, I would like to share how to differentiate this function using implicit differentiation. As we can see, if let's say we feel that the right hand side is complicated, we can actually differentiate slowly, which is let. So we can let a be equal to the inner function since this is composite function so we have a equal to x y so which means that b is equal to sine a then we differentiate a with respect to x apparently this is a product of two unknowns which means that we can let u be equal to x and v be equal to y when we differentiate u with respect to x we obtain 1 and we differentiate v with respect to x we obtain dy dx this is product of two unknowns which means that we apply the product rule and we should have u times dv dx plus v times du dx so which means that when we differentiate a with respect to x we should have u is x dv dx is dy dx plus v v is y times du dx du dx is 1 so which means that when we differentiate a with respect to x we obtain this then for b since b is a function of a which means that we're just able to differentiate b with respect to a so when we differentiate b with respect to a we should have cos a unfortunately what we want is not with respect to a but re with respect to x so which means that when we want to obtain with respect to x which means that we have to take db da times da dx using the chain rule as we can see da cancel with da and we obtain db over dx which is db over dx and we have cos a what is a a is x y then we times da dx da dx is x dy dx plus y which means that when we differentiate the function y equal to sine x y differentiate y dy dx is equal to sine x is here which is cos x y times x dy dx plus y let's expand the right hand side so we should have cos x y times x dy dx plus y cos x y so what we have to do here is we group the term with dy dx on one side the term without dy dx on the other side so which means that we're supposed to have dy dx since this term is with dy dx so we move to the right hand side plus and become minus so x dy dx times cos xy is equal to so since this one is being moved to the left and left only the term y cos xy now let's Factorize so we have dy dx take out and we left one minus cos cos xy y cos xy so which means that dy dx is equal to y cos xy the whole thing over one minus x cos xy and we done Okay, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this. See you.